Okay, we're going to be installing the Universal Hardware 4009. Uh, we picked this one uh, because it has the hold open feature. At 80 degrees, it'll hold it open automatically until you give it a little glove tap and it comes right back. So, uh, that people wanted a hold open feature, so this is the only one with the hold open feature. So, anyway, it's a good closer. Uh, we're going to put it on and uh, see what happens. When you decide what you're doing with your door, you're going to cut out the templates. And you can see it, it messes up the instructions also. So uh, understand the instructions before you cut out the templates so you don't have to go back and forth. I had a left door, left hand door and a right hand door, so I had to cut out both templates. So all the instructions are a complete mess now. So I thankfully I already know what I'm doing. But anyway, if you don't know what you're doing, read the instructions carefully first a few times, then cut your template because it'll be a pain once you do. All right. Now we're uh, going to put this thing up here. Um, uh, this is a, uh, when you stand back and look at your door, uh, this put, you, you have to install this uh, closer on the push side of the door, which means the side you push. Okay, so this happens to be pushing in. That's, most of you will encounter that. Most of your doors will push in. And so this is a push in door, right hand. All right, so uh, your your handle is on the opposite side of your hinges, and so it's called a right hand door. That's where your hinges are at. So this is a right hand door, as far as your your hinges are on the right hand side. Okay. So you take your appropriate template, and I've already done that here, but to show you, you just put it up into the corner. It shows you where to bend it, and stick it right into the corner. Uh, mark your three back plates right there and you can at the same time mark your uh, L bracket or P bracket or whatever you got whichever template you're using at the same time okay and you'll be ready to rock so just simple that simple go ahead and do those steps and we'll get to the next part they call out for different size drill bits uh, for your plates um, just use a 330 seconds. Okay, it's small enough to where it won't cause any problems. If you use anything bigger, it could elongate the holes too much. Okay, and again, like the instructions say, only go so deep. Here, we're going to go about three quarters of an inch deep because you have a one inch screw. Okay. Now grab your plate. Let's put it on now that we have our holes. Okay, when you mount on the bracket, a little dimple side goes out towards towards you. Um, those would hold your screws and hold the uh, closer on. Okay, and that's it. When you go to put the closer on, that that little um, thing right <laughs> I can't show you right there. That thing right there is allows you to go faster or slower with your closing speed. Allows you to adjust it, and so there's nothing on this side. You want to have that side pointed towards the handle of the door, okay? That way it's available to you. If you put it the other way, it's kind of a pain. So put that one towards the handle of the door, which in our case is right there. So we're going to put it just like that, okay? And let's mount it. Okay, so you just put that uh, screw, the last screw that connects it right up there. You screw it right down into it and uh, you're all done so that's the whole connection and uh pretty simple you're about to put a cap on now to make it look pretty also um so before you do that you want to adjust your screw to make it go faster or slower and uh, so just adjust it to the right um, if you want it to go slower and adjust it to the left uh you know which which means right means clockwise or left with counterclockwise and uh, the left makes it go uh, a little bit faster. And so uh, right now I have it adjusted and uh, it'll always just close. Perfectly good, that's, that's about the speed I want it. And uh, it has a hold open feature that's uh, anything past 80 degrees, it just stops. And it uh, doesn't go anywhere until you touch it. So it holds it open, if you will. And it also um, hold, you know, it allows it to close if you just touch it. So I went over and touched it a little bit, and it closed right up. So uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. But that's really the whole thing. Now you're going to put the cover on there, and it pops right on. Let me go ahead and 
Do that real quick. Okay, the cover only goes one way, um, and you can see uh, which way it goes. See those little tabs right here? They're just little four little tabs uh, built into the plastic, and that's what allows it to hold on. So if you're ever going to take it off, you'll know what's holding it on. There's no fasteners or anything. It's just little clips. Okay, so at this point, we want to just take this thing just like this, pop it up there, pop it on. Those four little clips hold it. If you got to take it off, just pull it off those four little clips. Okay, and uh, we're all set now. So again, uh, I want to show you that it works great. Uh, close the fine. This is a 36 inch door. Uh, this is a 36 inch heavy um, exterior door. Uh, looks gorgeous and they say up to 30 inch exterior door um, yeah bite that it's 36 uh, the reason they say 30 is they don't want no liability uh, if you put it on, on a bigger door they want you to go buy a commercial one uh, but anyway if uh, you can use it on a 36 inch door as you can see here perfectly fine I just installed this is a right hand um, exterior door and I just put it on a left hand exterior door a minute ago and it uh, worked perfectly fine there too also so as you see, it works perfectly good. Everything is great. The 36 inch door is fine. Again, they're just trying to keep their reliability down so you don't put it on a big heavy door. But if your door opens and closes by itself properly without, you know, a bunch of work, it just closes normally, then you won't have any trouble with these uh, door closers. Okay. Like I said, if you have any questions, put them down below. But there you go. Here's the other 36 inch door that it's installed on, and it is a fiberglass door. So yeah, it works for that too. Again, they're thin, so use the 3 32nd drill bits so you don't make the holes too big. And then the screws work fine. Uh, even though it's fiberglass, it's hollow. It's hollow with foam in it, so it's valueless as far as solidity, but it works fine, you know, put it on there. Anyway, it opens and closes perfectly. Uh, it's, it's been held open right now on the whole, uh, automatic hold open feature. Give it a little pull, closes perfectly, and uh, everything's good and tight. There you go.